Hello, this time we will create a disappearing footboard. First, create a material. Set the blend mode to translucent to use the material's opacity. And set the lighting mode to surface translucency volume. Create a constant 3 vector node to set the color. A constant 3 vector node can be created by clicking the left mouse button while holding down 3 on the keyboard. Next, create a multiply node and a parameter node to adjust the brightness of the color and connect them as shown in the video. A multiply node and a parameter node can be created by clicking the left mouse button while holding down M and SES, respectively. Next, create a constant node by clicking the left mouse button while holding down 1 and connect it to roughness. Next, create a parameter node and connect it to opacity. Next, create a blueprint class. After creating cube mesh and box collision, by clicking the Add button in the Components category, set the size of the two components to a size that the character can use as a food board. After adjusting the size, apply the material to cube mesh. Next, go to Event Graph and remove all nodes except for Event Begin Play. Then, place the cube component into the Event Graph and make a Create Dynamic Material Instance node so that you can adjust parameters of a material in real time. Next, make a Dynamic Material variable. Next, create a set scalar parameter value and initialize the brightness value to zero. It should be noted that the parameter name set in material must be accurately written in parameter name. Next, click on component begin overlap event in the add event of the box collision component. The event will be triggered when something enters into the box collision area. Next, duplicate the set scalar parameter value node and change the bright value to 10. Connect it to begin overlap node. Next, create a sequence node that can sequentially call events. Then create a timeline node to make the opacity value fade over time. And, like the video, set a track inside the timeline node. Next, copy a set scalar parameter value and set the parameter name to opacity to apply a timeline value. Then, connect the timeline value to it. Drag off the remaining pins of the sequence node to create a delay node. Connect the delay node to destroy actor to set the actor to disappear when time runs out. Now, place several blueprints in the level to see if the platform disappears when the character touches a footboard.